guys welcome back to another jet meet been here for a while chilling letting the car park fill up i've decided to uh park in the trolley bay because why not we're about to get into it and have a walk around <laughs> let's kick it off we got og crx and some work wheels still got the stock crx seats in there it's got the rear seats still as well uh, it doesn't have the crx engraved in the tail lights it's clean though Got the K20 powered minty caged Civic back once again. So we've got some uh, new door stickers. Sat next to, of course, the B18 Turbo Classic Mini with its little chunky tired turbo Honda powered go kart goodness. Got a newer. So a crown, sat very low, some very nice purple nails and some massive wheels. Gotta be like 20 inch rims. So yes, as I said, but in, well, it's not really a shelter anymore, but it's a trolley bay. Reese parked here, we got Aaron parked there. And we've got Morgan next to the crown. Just pop the bonnet. We've got a couple of the local builds out, we've got the VXR swapped. Astra van, got the Blob ISTI with the flares on bags. Go check a little look. The uh, boot build. Got the tanks in the back, all the lines, full airlift system. We've got the race car S14 back once again with the screamer coming out the hood. Sat next to an Arctic Camo Focus RS, and I believe belongs to Mr. Zach's garage. Sat next to an S550 GT 5.0 Mustang, the Coyote. Got the Mark 1 Ford Escort back once again on the RS wheels. Got the black Sora with the nice aero package on it. It's got the roof wing as well, sunroof model. Looking real nice. Got this very nice and a midnight purple, mystic purple bagged. Crown Athlete Wagon. It looks absolutely gangster, just on the deck. So we have a Lexus LS400 hooked up. Well, an S13 of Brian James trailer hooked up to the back of it. Looks like a bit of a drift project, but you never know. Keep your eyes peeled, you may see this thing rolling under its own power to a jet meet sometime next year. All right, here we have an absolute dream machine of mine. R34 Skyline GTT manual. We've got the GTR Nismo Z-Tune front bumper. We've got the carbon Nismo Z-Tune style hood, which is actually vented. And look at the carbon weave. You see the paint looking very nice. The interior looking very clean with the Momo steering wheel. You have the GTR wing with the taller wing stands. So we've got a titanium exhaust on there as well. Of course, the Nismo badges, GTR rear bumper, GTR rear bumper spats. I believe they're the Nismo spats. And then, of course, the infamous quad tail lights. We've got man like Belize out here in the sunny, looking as low as always. So we've got a duo of cage citron saxos here this one with the sparko buckets got the extended luminous shifter there quick release steering wheel this one we got the fk buckets with the trs harnesses and omp wheel it's very tastefully bagged audi aos3 here with the uh, bbs lm style wheels got allen out here is Mark 1 MX-5. It's usually loud and proud, but sitting pretty quiet right now. Got this nice Mark 1 MX-5 here and this pretty nice champagne red. But of course, as you may have noticed, it has the uh, very active LED halos in the headlights. We got a little survivor of a Triumph Stag Roadster sat next to the MX-5. Bagged Mark IV Golf. 
believe it's the uh, V6, it is. It's backed two tone, Focus RS, purple at the back, blue at the front with the uh, black roof. This month, we have another example of using what you got and having fun with a little Citroen C1. See, we've got the flares, we've got the splitter, we've got the canards, the vents, and the neons. So we have the Amiga six door limo back once again. I believe it's a V6 Amiga as well. We've got the blue S2000 back once again. As that seems to be the bike section this month over there. Got the uh, graffiti and slammed 6N2 Polo making a departure. Got DC5 Integra here. We're, oh, apparently you can win this car in partnership with uh, Adam C. Carbon fiber hood, of course, in championship white. Got the Recaro seats. Seven little look, what wheels are we running? We got rotors. They look nice though, the white on white. A nice two-tone black and white Lexus LS400 on the BBS LMs. Looking nice, clean. It's got full leather interior as well by the looks of it. So we have Bug Eye STI departing. Then we've got a Mark III MR2 Roadster. It's actually got a few mods. We've got some rotor wheels. We've got the wing. Got a nice little front lip on it. It's cool to see that they're not all completely hidden away and uh, forgotten about. It's like the IS wagon, it's just fired up to roll out, sat next to the Sora. Got the LEDs in the engine bay of the Corsa, the little NOS bottle. Got some bikes giving off some revolutions. Of course, personal favorite. R32 Mark IV Golf in the blue. Slightly bittersweet seeing an old school Jitser as my dad just sold his one. But it's still nice to see them still out on the roads being enjoyed. Got the S Rads. Whoa! Old school pop and bang tricks. Nice. Here we've got my all time favorite factory wolf in sheep's clothing. The E60 being the M5 looks just like a normal 5 series, right? Under the hood, V10. Got the bagged till, turquoise, RSQ3, back once again. Nice shade of blue on this bagged Mark VI Golf here. Shame it's shiny, they didn't clean it so I could uh, appreciate the blue a little more. It's a GTI, because it sounds like the big beast of a Mercury is fired up to roll out. Oh, it's got white walls. White walls and the wire wheels. With the old California plate still on the back, that's cool. Yeah, look at those wire spoke wheels. Glistening. Got the white stripe on the tires. The bench seats. And of course, the infamous little bullet tail lights. Nice little rumble, that lazy V8. Got a turbocharged NBMX5 there. There's the little boosty boy right down there. Got a Mark 1 Golf Cabriolet. So there's that loud MX5 is still going around. And we've got a green S14 on R33 GTR wheels here. The green Focus RS is fired up. That turbo five cylinder just roaring away. So it sounds like we've got the Civic firing up to leave as well got the turbo EK back once again that manifold has a C63 is leaving got the limo leaving it is the V6 it's got blast pipes well if any of you are interested in an E46 M3 we have one for sale so we've got the micro that was here last month and we've got a different kind of purpley IQ here this month. We're starting to see more and more of these pop up. So we've got an S3 and an Evo leaving. So I think I'm gonna head to the exit now. There is the Audi S3, there is the Evo. We've got the blue turbo Mark 1 MX5 back for another month. We've got the Neve Speed Underground 
hood scoop on the focus here. We've got this pretty sweet Evo 9 wagon with the carbon flicks in the front wings there. See, looks nice of the nice little wing on the back too. Got the Holden HSV Commodore and it's burnt orange back again. The bag the Golf is leaving along with the green eye focus. And there's another R34 Skyline GTT. The GTR front end not fitting quite as good on this one, but it is in Bayside Blue, which is my preferred color. For a Celica leaving, with some little flames coming out the back. I'm not sure if it's a real one, but it has the arrow and looks like an OG Accord Type R. It does have the badge in. It's pretty sick. You don't really don't see many of these. We have fuck built tough like Fords. We have the actual built tough Toyota Hilux. As Top Gear has proved, you cannot kill one of these. So yeah, Top Gear proved you cannot kill a Hilux. So I think that is definitely the end of the car park. And now it's time to permanently stay at the exit until the end of the night. Let's go. We got a tow truck and a Golf. This isn't good. I think this is Steve's one. The power he's pushing. Yeah, sometimes things can go wrong. Unfortunately, that is just the life of cars. We got the Crown. five and a fiesta got the VXR powered van leaving wow that sounds savage and it seems like the golf may be sorted out maybe just the boost line popped off or something Got an E46, got a DC5, ITR leaving, and I think that was the M3 that's for sale. We've got the little turbo starlet leaving, it looks like Steve is able to drive the Golf home, that's good to see. Some nice turbo flutters. Oh, launch control. Yellow A45 or A35 leaving. Proper flames. Might have given it some. The white MX5 leaving. Got the Golf R32 Mark IV leaving. And the all blue Focus ST. There goes the two tone ST and the little Yaris T Sport. Got a couple of bikes, looks like a Grom and a Triumph. So we've got the Hilux leaving behind the Fiesta there. We've got the Blurple mic relieving. We've got a loud micro. It says come on the number plate. We've got a Swift with skulls on the roof. E36 and an Astra leaving. Don't know what the Astra was trying to do. There's one micro. There's the other. The Swift. So we've got the yellow cage Saxo leaving with the silver one just behind it. There's the GTS HSV Commodore. Awesome sound of V8. Listen to that rumble. Something that a will spin. Got an ST leaving and a over there. As we have the 
the Saxos coming back past the other side. They may notice there's no police at the top this month, but there is, of course, a police car sat right there and marked clothed officers stood right there in a little pack as well. Considering what happened last month, I'm not surprised the police are here, but at least it means, you know, if the police are here making sure everything's going okay, it means the meat is still here and allowed to continue, at least for now. We've got SW20 MR2. BMW giving it a little bit of something. Fiesta ST, even. And it sounds like an MX5. And it's Alan. Got a 350. And Belaz. Got a loud course with no rear window. It might be back past with an M135 behind it. I think the MR2 was female driven, you know. We've got the Accord Type R rolling out. We have a loud red MX-5. As the Fiesta is a little burn out from the lights and that white Fiesta has no tail lights. GT86, going past the other side of a very sun faded red Honda Jazz. Got the Seat Leon Cupra. Coming. Female driven as well, come on. I'm telling you, the car girls are taking over and I'm not helping because I'm gonna be raising a little female pet head to, but hey, you know. The more on the scene, there's more for the eyes to enjoy, isn't there? The more cars, the more builds. MX-5 leaving. There's the loud MX-5, is back on the other side. Looks like the little turbo Starlet is back. Uh, the headlights on that Mini are looking very awkward and only one tail light, but it's got the newer style Union Jack tail lights. Turbo flutters. Of course, taking it easy, you don't want to get a section 59. Got a Corolla T-Sport and the Stag leaving. Fiesta leaving. We got the cage K20 Civic leaving and the B18 Mini with an Evo behind as well. Comes the T Sport and the Stag. Roof down, fag in mouth, it's my kind of style. Civic, the Mini and the Evo. Oh, we've got uh, two Fiestas behind as well. We have. The Bayside Blue GTT R34 leaving. We just got a BMW M6 Coupe in blue roll up to the lights as well next to the 34. Got a Berlin Fiesta and an MX5 also pulling up to the now green lights. Got an EP3 Type R over there leaving. There's the M6 and the MX5. Speaking of MX-5s, there is a little black one departing. The silent rumble of the Mercedes with its hidden V8 potential under the hood. Got the Garage 34 Hyundai leaving. And a white Focus RS. We've got a Tesla leaving. Scale of 1 to 10, how much do you dislike the Tesla? Me, 10. Put a Celica leaving. Nice little note to the exhaust. I have no idea what was it, uh, whether there's ride in the clutch or what. It did not sound good. Up next, with the orange yellow with fogs, we have uh, it is the Micro with the nice lip wing, ducktail wing. We've got a Suzuki Jimny. There is the green E39. We've got the boosted NA and the boosted NB. Even with the IS200. We've got the champagne red MX5 with a silver one behind, leaving as well. We've got Fiesta joining the pack. 
with a Tesla. Oh. Got the yellow MX-5 even as well now. We've got a little throaty Polo. The Alfa Romeo. We've got the Till Turquoise Micro. And the C1. It's got a center exit on it as well. Got Audi S1 and the Lupo leaving. Along with a more stock Lupo behind. Female driven. Car girl takeover. We've got the Evo 9. GT wagon leaving now. We've got the Need for Speed Underground 2 starter car leaving. It's got the little trio with the loud polo at the back. But there's a departure that most of the crowd were probably hoping for. The piece have now moved from the corner there. Got one series leaving. Taking advantage of the no police. We've got a couple MX-5s leaving late. NA. And an MB. We've got a third late lever. Just cruising on home with the top down. Got a loud Ibiza leaving. Quite loud indeed. TT leaving, C63 AMG leaving, got the uh, LED, got the EP3 leaving now. Gonna get the launch control. Fortunately, it didn't work out. Got a Mini Cooper S. Supercharged. And the GT86 with the uh, headers and exhaust. Got the nice big luxury V8 LS400. Followed by the little IQ. Corsa leaving VXR. Mike was going for it. Just kind of snuck out of nowhere. The Mark V Golf, letting people know of its arrival. It's a little late though. Oh, so strong smell of fuel. There it is. That's what I was waiting for. Randomly waiting to get some McDonald's. We have an E36 with the AC Schnitzer kit as we've got the uh, DC5 sat back over here, looking pretty awesome. So over McDonald's side, we've got the OG Suzuki Swift with uh, pretty similar wheels to Reed's. Pug, to be fair, it's the GLS as well. The F80 M3 leaving. We got the green S14 leaving. And a Beamer. M140, I think that one was. Got a white Fiesta leaving. Got the DC5 leaving. A little IQ next to it. Got a red Focus ST leaving. As we have the Integra coming back. We've got Aaron and Re now making their departure. Alright guys, so that is it for this month. Just had myself a bit of McDonald's. I'm about to go meet a couple of boys down TVP. Of course, Re's gone home. She's got work tomorrow. Uh, but of course, if you like the video, 
please hit the like button of course i appreciate it if you haven't already then subscribe turn the bell on so you get notified when i upload to see the pictures that i take at red and jack meet and other automotive events and meets that i go to then links for the demon auto pages are down below but of course until the next one have a good evening peace Thank you.